we all need to be on the same page. We, we need robust policies that have bipartisan support that are going to withstand political terms because they're going to take a long time to actually implement. So how do, what do you think is the right approach for involving communities in policy creation? The answer to me uh, is it has two parts, right? Uh, one is in every great policy, you need time for those at the leadership uh, table to define the problem, understand the resources that are available to tackle that problem, and to create or brainstorm solutions. And that needs to be done in a in a confined space that allows people to really speak openly about what those issues are, what the resources are, and what the potential solutions could be before it hits the public arena. Mm-hmm. So I, I do believe that certain, up to a certain point, uh, politicians, leaders, and decision makers need that space to be able to trash out all these ideas and workshop all the potential solutions. But it is the issue of how you're going to implement that that requires consultation and it requires community input because without it being welcome or received or well understood by the community, no good plan or well-formulated plan is going to actually be welcome and actually implemented by the community. So one thing is, yes, um, plans need to be devised by those with the knowledge, the skill, and the experience, but that has to, at some point, leave the table, be introduced to the community for their input, and then once that is all agreed and everybody has an understanding of it, then we need the leadership back to make sure that it is implemented because perhaps one of my greatest criticisms of the leaders in our community or in our greater New South Wales is the revolving door of leadership that has started a great number of plans, has tried to tackle a great number of issues and run very quickly and vigorously to only be replaced within a very short period of time. And all of those plans and all of those ideas are simply put into a shelf and never see the light of day. And we then are hit with the next person coming and we start the sequence all over again. 